The Battle of Britain air show is taking place today in Duxford. The former RAF site played a leading role in some of the most dramatic days of the Second World War, serving as a base for many of the Spitfire and Hurricane pilots. So joining me now is GB News national reporter Theo Jacomba. Theo, hello, you are down at the air show. Where are you? Yes, we are very close to where most of the action is happening here in Cambridgeshire. One thing I must say though, I feel very underdressed. Uh, many people who have come here have come in costume, marking uh, the 1940 period. And of course today marks that time for the Battle of Britain, uh, that military campaign during the Second World War. And many people have travelled from across the UK and the world. We've spoken to some from the USA, uh, from Belgium and more and this is some of what they had to say when they're looking forward to this weekend. Interesting all the Spitfires. I love watching them all fly. It's just great fun. Oh no, I live here almost. <laughs> Every time my brother is visiting we come to the air shows. Um, just before Covid we did the whole season. Every single air show everywhere they were. We went, we did them all. We come from the uh, planes from World War II to see the Spitfires and the B-17 and the Lancaster and so very interesting. I'm doing research in um, plane crashes in Belgium during World War II. So uh, I'm very interested in these machines. Just looking forward to the whole day. The weather's turned nice, looking to see a variety of Spitfires, Hurricanes. It'd be a good day. So I hope everyone enjoys themselves and uh, goes home with fond memories. All the aircraft, obviously. And I enjoy myself with my son, who's been here before. I'm really looking forward to like using my camera and like zooming in onto the different planes and just being able to like experience the people as well. Because I've been going around taking photos of the people and just seeing photos being taken is just such a, like a happy experience. And I'm really looking forward to like the one o'clock show as well. Um, this isn't actually my first time at Duxford because um, I have an uncle who's a pilot. He's just got a um, private pilot, so I have been here once before um, with him. But this is my first time at like the Duxford Air Show, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm just the same as my friend. I've come from um, Air Cadets in Broxbourne and Hoddesdon, so we all came up together as like a unit, um, and it's just amazing. I've never been to an air show like this before, so it is a, a little bit breathtaking to say the least. I am. It's just the atmosphere, I think, is my favourite part about it. It's just because everyone here has got at least one thing in common. It's just like the sense of unity you get from being with kind of like just people that are like you. And there's so like the diversity of people here from people have come from New York. I know the people that we've spoken to and it's just amazing how like something like Doctor Air Show can bring everyone together. And So a mixture of history, entertainment and more across the weekend and you get to see planes like this taking you back to that period. We are kindly joined by Tim who's one of the organisers and staff members here. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Uh, lots of people here, tens of thousands across the weekend, especially this period after Covid. How much have you been looking forward to this weekend? Well firstly welcome to the Imperial War Museum in Duxford. Uh, it's good to have you here. Um, we as a team have been really looking forward to uh, our public being able to enjoy and embrace all of the things that go into making an air show of this kind. We're the premier um, aviation museum in Europe and we put on, this is what Duxford does best, we put on air shows and there's a whole mix of things for people to see here so if you come here you're going to see flying, there's uh, fun fairs, there's history, there's uh, exhibits, uh, a whole mix of things for people to do across the, across the day. And so that's what we like to see. We like to see people enjoying themselves. That's, that, that's our primary aim. We've seen people uh, who come here from across the world. Just, does that just show um, how important it is to have events like this again so people can get into what they really love? Yeah, well, this is a commemorative weekend for the Battle of Britain. It's also the 50th anniversary of IWM Duxford doing air shows. So this is uh, a really important thing for us. And people come from all over the world because they're not going to see any of this anywhere else. The opportunity to see 18 Spitfires Hurricanes flying in formation doesn't happen very in, in very in many other places. And to, say, to see the Lancaster and the B-17 today flying together, the first time in 30 years, is a real opportunity that people will take home their memories uh, for years to come. So that's really important for us. 
It's day one of two. Uh, for people who are looking forward to come tomorrow, for example, um, what can they see? Can they get real up and close with some of these planes? Yeah, if, if they buy a ticket, if they go on the website up till midnight tonight, they can buy a ticket and come see us. Um, tomorrow we're flying a full program. We're going to fly the B-17 and the uh, Lancaster together again. There will be 18 uh, Merlin engines, Spitfires and Hurricanes flying together. The Red Arrows are turning up. Uh, so we've got a really packed day, a really good schedule of things that are going to keep all ages uh, engaged, entertained. Uh, and hopefully they'll have a really enjoyable day. And finally, history is a big part of what's on show here. People of all ages get to learn about what happened during that period, isn't it? Indeed. So there, there's a lot of reenactors here dressed up in the period costumes. The aircraft are from a whole range of history, First World War, Second World War, the Korean War and modern day. So you can get a real flavour of what combat uh, and war has been like across the ages. And in addition, you can see how it affects civilian life. So it's an educational piece, but we really feel that the Imperial War Museum at Duxford uh, gives it an opportunity for people to learn about history, but in an engaging and fun way. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Well, as you heard from Tim, <coughs> plenty to see across today and tomorrow, but it's certainly going to be a weekend many won't forget with all that's available to see here. Thank you very much indeed, Theatre Conver there, GB News national reporter, live from Duxford. That does look like a fabulous day out, and I've, it's pretty heartwarming to see all of the younger people there, so excited to see all the, all the aircraft and all the activities that are on. Perhaps I'll have to go one year.